Holy crap, boys and girls. I've never made three videos, especially in a row, for one incident. And you already know what this is about. The Rayshard Brooks case going on down there in Atlanta. I told you guys that Wednesday the district attorney was thinking about pressing charges. And boy, did he press charges. Holy crap, boys and girls. Did the Atlanta Police Department just quit? We'll get into that here in just a minute. Whew. Lots of stuff going on tonight. Let me get you caught up on what happened today. The district attorney, Mr. Howard, we talked about before, who said two weeks ago tasers were lethal weapons, and then in this case said they're not lethal weapons, charged both officers involved with the Rayshard Brooks shooting. Officer Rolf, the officer who fired the shots, faces 11 charges, including felony murder, multiple counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, first degree criminal damage to property, and two counts of violating of his oath as a public officer. While Officer Brosnan, the other officer on scene, has been charged with a count of aggravated assault and two counts of violating his oath in office. The district attorney, Mr. Howard, also said that the secondary officer, Officer Brosnan, is going to be state's witness against the primary officer who is facing 11 felony charges right now. Officer Brosnan's attorneys are saying he never agreed to be a state's witness. Don Samuel, a lawyer for secondary co-defendant Devin Brosnan, who is the second officer on scene, said early Wednesday evening that his client has not agreed to be a state's witness, contrary to a press conference from Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard. It gets even crazier. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation was completely unaware that District Attorney Paul Howard was putting charges on the two officers. They said on Facebook, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation was requested by Atlanta Police Department on Friday, June 12th, to investigate an officer-involved shooting at the Wendy's restaurant on University. We are in the process of conducting this investigation. Although we have made significant progress in the case, we have not completed our work. Our goal in every officer-involved shooting case we are requested to review is to complete a thorough and partial investigation before we submit the file to the respective district attorney's office. The GBI was not aware of today's press conference before it was conducted. We were not consulted on the charges filed by the district attorney. Despite today's occurrence, the GBI will complete its mission of completing an impartial and thorough investigation of this incident, and we will submit the file once completed to the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. What the fuck is going on? So first the district attorney says that a taser is lethal, then he says it's not lethal, and then he says that the secondary officer is going to be a state's witness, which he isn't, and now the Georgia Bureau investigation that does the primary investigation on police shootings investigates local agencies and then turns that information over to the district attorney to make judgment on it was bypassed. Oh, yeah, and like there's rumors that multiple, multiple precincts in Atlanta have just walked off the job. This hasn't been officially confirmed by the Atlanta Police Department, but I've received a lot of messages and I've seen a lot of posts by trusted people that say that there's a lot of people quitting and walking out of the Atlanta Police Department right now. On top of the many messages I've received saying, hey, I'm an Atlanta cop or I know I'm an Atlanta cop and they're just leaving. Let me show you some stuff I found online. Cat turd, I know the name of a reputable source for anything, said, is anyone else hearing that in Atlanta, police officers for zone three, four, five, six have walked out on the job? Deputy Mike Baker, who is a social media figure with the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Department that borders Atlanta says, it's true. If you head over to the Protect and Serve subreddit, someone asked any Leos in the Atlanta, Georgia area who can confirm this. I'm hearing through social media circles that all officers in Zone 1, 3, 5, and 6 of APD have pretty much walked out. Top comment on here from a verified police officer says nothing through official channels. We reached out to multiple APD officers we know. Only one zone, there are six, is currently working right now. The rest dropped their cars and their keys back at their precincts and went home. Mayor Lance Bottoms requested mutual aid from Cobb and Gwinnett counties who had initially withdrawn their mutual aid after the DA's choice to arrest the college taser incident officers. They refused. Not even sure if GSP is going to send help either. There's a rumor that the governor ordered them to step back after the, D after the DA's decision. That's unconfirmed. Another comment says, y'all can verify me later. Been on for five years. Off tonight, thanks to Command's BS screwing with our off days, but it's true. Let it burn. KLB is allegedly in a panic. And I think it's all six zones all over our internal Facebook groups. Well, hell, I don't know if it's completely true. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I just wanted to throw a quick little update together for you guys. It's crazy stuff, man. It's almost as if you treat a police officer like shit. They don't want to do the job anymore. If it's true, like I said, we'll see tomorrow. Could all be rumors. The Atlanta Police Department Twitter is disputing everything that's being said about police officers walking out in mass. 
I don't know. I'm just a guy on YouTube that says things. Everybody, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.